What's up, ladies? Peter Von Panda here. Uh, just wanted to show you um, a really kick-ass watch. This is the Orcraft 21024-5A. It's called the Big World, and uh, I just bought this one, and I uh, thought I'd show you. It is um, a, a cool-looking watch that uh, you don't see every day. Uh, Orcraft is German. Uh, Dizit der Zit means um, time to be different, I believe. And I think I know that because the manual in the box says time to be different. So, anyway, just a little bit of Sherlock homing there. <laughs> um, cool little box, kind of looks like a, a film or a camera box. Uh, really modern and industrial. The Orcraft watches have uh, Japanese. Miyota uh, movement in it, I believe. This has is going to be an automatic watch, and I just really dig the look of this. This is a white face. It's got a black bezel. It um, is pretty classy, but it's fairly large. This is a 50 millimeter watch, so this is pretty big. Um, I actually have a diesel DZ7258, which also um, is listed as a 50 millimeter watch, but when I take a look at that watch versus this watch this one seems to actually be like one to two millimeters smaller in diameter so I'm not sure I haven't actually taken a ruler to it but uh, there seems to be a little bit of a difference and as you can see a black leather band it's got uh, the automatic movement in the watch um, it's got a world time bezel here that I believe moves clicks around so I really don't know that much about how the watch works um, I kind of buy them based on how ass-kicking they look, and um, it just looks really cool. It's, it's, it's round, there's a little bit of um, dome in the uh, crystal, it's a mineral crystal, and so somehow you can set this to be multiple world times. I believe this and this are both clocks, so it's technically a dual time clock. This uh, um, will give you the date and... This I actually have no idea if it's um, the top thing. I think it's a power reserve. So in this case, it says zero because I believe um, it doesn't have any. It's been sitting and just got open. It doesn't have a power, um, power any power reserve. So I think that's power reserve. And in the middle is your your second hand, which is actually is now moving now that I just shook it. And I don't know if you can see that. Let me try. Zoom in there. So. Nice movement, lots of very, um, lots of small movements on that second hand. It slides very nicely, kind of like a bull of a precision or a Rolex. So a really cool movement. Um, just the one thing I wanted to note is that it's it's kind of a unique looking watch. You don't see this a lot. The black and white it has nice contrast. It's a pretty classy looking watch. I kind of want to say it's a, a bit of a museum style. This is something I can see. Um, architects or uh, someone that has a, a kind of an artistic but technical job that appreciates um, a classy but really modern modern look you know this is something I can see see an Aston Martin driver pulling into a house made out of glass wearing as well as a chubby Asian guy anyway we're craft very cool watches um, I think you're going to see these more and more. So check it out. Panda, out.